This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Time to talk with Grant Hall here on Halftime. Appreciate you joining us as always, Grant. How are you today? Uh, well, I'm fine. And in this uh, what's going to be 80-degree weather for the second day in a row in November. I can remember it snowing on this date in November probably. So, you know, you never know in Fayetteville. Shorts and flip-flops today then, right, Grant? That's what you're probably wearing. Well, you know, Eric Musman uh, got on Bob Holt for wearing shorts to the press conference Monday night. <laughs> In November, so yeah. OG Bob, Bob he's, does what he wants. You know, he's looking out for everybody. Yeah. I love it when 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 folks give Bob the stuff because he's going to give the stuff right back at him. That's good. <laughs> right. That's great. Basketball yeah, was fun to watch the last couple of days, Grant. Um, things uh, things that stand out to you from uh, your first uh, chance to watch the men in a regular season game and last night's women's win. Well, let's go backwards since last night's more fresh in my mind. I went to the second half after going to Eric's uh, radio show, and I saw Poffenbarger get, get a lot of her 21 rebounds. You know, what's interesting about her, Phil, is the night before, after the men's game, she was out there shooting uh, on that court, and she made nine out of ten threes just like they were nothing. And then last night, she couldn't hit anything. She was three for 12, so she just stopped shooting and rebounded. You know, and came within one, I guess, of the school record. And then the other highlight to me, and I, I was kind of hoping maybe they could keep this uh, player a secret for a little bit longer, but Talia Scott uh, scored 29, and, and she is going to go down as, you know, if she stays healthy, one of the all-time greats at this school, I think, uh, at least offensively. And uh, she's um, saying all the right things about her teammates helping her, but uh, that kid is a scoring machine. In oh, fact, yeah. uh, you know, Mike said, I, what was it? I think she scored 38 and a half against the men's practice team or something like that. So uh, she gives him a chance, too. Grant, you know what stands out about her? Matt, you got you got to watch Talia. I've only watched her in the one game. She's incredibly patient with the ball, has a good handle. When she sees an opening to get to the rim, she, t- she cuts through that hole like a running back. Um, as a freshman, as a true freshman in her very first game, and, you know, that team they played against yesterday, Grant, those are veterans. They didn't have a single freshman on that team. No sophomores got any playing time. It was just basically players that had transferred away from the SEC and the ACC. I mean, ULM, I think, is a good team. I wouldn't be surprised if they go and, and win the regular season in the Sun Belt. But Talia just kind of toyed with them at times. Yeah, this Johnson, uh, who played, I think, at Auburn, scored 34 last night. They had a kid from, I think, South Carolina, another one from the ACC, and he he tried to warn about this this team, but yeah, I mean the thing about Scott is she can hit the outside shot, but she has these really artful drives, and some of those uh, shots that she made look easy, the bank shots, she just seems she's really at home with those. So uh, I think the fans are really going to enjoy watching her, including Friday when they're going to have this elementary day at ten thirty against a Murray State team that won twenty plus last year. Uh, and he's expecting that they, they've done such a good job of organizing. They're going to have 7,000 uh, elementary kids to go with whatever, you know, last, last, last night was 2,600. So he's looking for a crowd maybe of 10,000 on Friday, which would be a lot of fun. And then, of course, you got the men uh, playing that night. We've got to have a little truth in advertising here. And I, I kind of coined this phrase when the Travelers were doing it 23 years ago. And it was first it was Sonic School Days, and then it was Anti-Tobacco School Kids Day and everything. Let's call this what it is. And it's the same for this game on Friday morning. Grant, it's Screaming Kids Day, all right? Because that's what it's going to be like inside there. You know that. Well, he's got the, the assistant athletic directors. He, he really credited the school with I mean, all hands on deck for helping uh, just the logistics of getting all those buses positioned and, and getting those kids safely there and back. Uh, but it's yeah, bring your earplugs if you're going to that. Grant, uh, the, the the men's team, there's a couple teaching moments out there. 50 fouls was too many. Uh, you know, with Brazil stepping on the floor, I think this was the perfect time for that to happen. Hopefully they can teach that and, and don't let that be an issue late, later in the year. Uh, what what what'd you gather from uh, how this men's team looked? Well, Matt, you know, last night Eric said that I think they threw 236 passes in the game, which meets his goal of 200 a long time ago. Uh, he heard Steve Kerr uh, talk about that. And of course, it's different in the NBA with 48 minutes. Their goal is higher. But 
Uh, he thought that was maybe as many passes as his team had ever done. And he also said something to us after the game about that on game day, eight players lifted on their own, lifted weights on their own. And that, that was a high for any of his teams since the NBA. So uh, he's got, you know, I mean, I, I think both of these, of course, you know, every, attitudes are good early in the season. You haven't lost them, uh, but they, they seem unified, both of them. You know, the, the women in all those interviews we did with them talked about that, how the team was unified. And I know Wolf and Barger left, but uh, it's it's an older team, Matt and Phil. Uh, you know, last year's team were were babies, figuratively speaking. I mean, and now you've got all these guys that have been three and four years at other places. and uh, it, It's a veteran team, really. And that's why you have him lifting, you know, as a freshman. And, and, and you say this in the SEC, it's, it's hard to come in because you're adjusting, you're learning. When you're in high school, you're not really lifting on game day. But the, but to your point, Grant, the, these older veteran guards that have been through college offseason, they know the importance uh, of lifting weights. That's, that's good to hear. You know, Corliss used to do it just to intimidate the other team. He, he would make a point to lift right before the game and then go out there. Just his physical appearance is probably worth 15, 20 points, you know. I mean, with the with the nickname Big Nasty, what are you going to do? You know. Yeah, that's it. You allowing yourself to think bowl game at all for football? <clears throat> Players can't think of it that way because every game is like the postseason hinges on this. But looking ahead, it's like I think they can take care of Auburn. I know they can beat FIU. <clears throat> and given the right situation, they play well, play the way that they've done um, against Florida. I think they can beat Missouri um, and and maybe go to a bowl game. Are you allowing yourself to? Not it's not a dream because. It's a, it'd be a low-level bowl game. But all we're trying to do here is is do what Frank talked about, is have a, rem, a November to remember and, yeah. and go into the offseason with extra practices, a bowl game, maybe a win. They seem to be so good at, at, at when they get an extra week or a few weeks to plan. And, uh, and then, man, it's like it's not like, uh, like September and October are just completely forgotten about, but it does feel like a long way off if you keep winning and get to a bowl game. Well, you guys made a good point about the five and seven teams, and uh, Andrew Hutchinson, who's kind of a figure filter. You know, he, he's already looked into how many teams, twenty-two or something, could end up either just below six, and you know, who like I know uh, James Madison uh, is going to get one of those bowl games because they're not eligible otherwise. And I guess they're still trying, but that's the uh, thing. That's such that, a weird aspect of that, Grant. Like, so that you're ineligible for a bowl game. Be, because you're not a full-fledged member of Division One FBS football yet. It's but if we don't get enough six-win yeah. teams, yeah, you can play. <laughs> yeah, and it's the second year that, that I guess they've been in this. By the way, they, they beat Michigan uh, State in basketball, too. And, and I think their soccer team is number one or something. Uh, I know Alyssa was talking about her family connection there. My, my son-in-law played football for James Madison, so I, I know a little bit about them. But as far as these other teams, you know, um, yeah, that's that's a possibility. Uh, in fact, the Reliant, I think it's the Reliant Bowl. Is that the one that replaced the Outback or succeeded the Outback in Tampa? Those people were on the elevator the other night because Bob Holt got uh, trapped and they wouldn't let him. <laughs> they wouldn't let him out on the field till the ball game was over. Instead, and he was with these bowl scouts who weren't too happy about it either. But they were there to see Florida and Florida may not get to you know six wins so i mean there i mean i suppose that probably would go to a higher positioned sec team but you know the the dominoes go down but this this auburn game i think is going to be a lot tougher than than arkansas is favored to win and hugh freeze is one of those guys that can take yours and beat his or take his and beat yours you know he he beat alabama twice from Ole miss and try that sometime so i think it's going to be a lot tougher game uh, maybe than some Arkansas fans think you had the, you know, you had the change and the OC and everything went great the first game. And uh, it's kind of like when Arkansas, when Joe Kynes was the uh, interim coach and they went and beat South Carolina 45 to seven or something, then, then reality came back. So I think it's going to be a really good ball game, probably closely competitive and, uh, and should be good. Good, good for the fans anyway. What about what's the biggest difference for for uh, for them on offense? Is it the scheme? Is it having Rocket healthy? Is it a matter of 
they believe in what they're doing now? Is it, you know, the change at right tackle because of injury? Uh, what, what do you think made the biggest difference? All of that, and I just think uh, KJ's running. I mean, Sam said last night, I, I found his TV show for the first time all year, and I heard him say uh, that this is the team that should have been all year. You know, the way they did it, 400 and something yards and, and running the ball for, was it 200 plus, I think, uh, and mixing in the plays. Now, you know, the staff scripted the first 10 plays. And they all had an impact on that. And Sam uh, told us the other day, he called five of those plays himself. So uh, it's not all Kenny Guyton, but so far so good with Guyton. And then now then we're going to see, you know, what it looks like this week. Yeah, there'll be tape out there on them. The, the thing I liked, Grant, was, well, I mean, I didn't like that they started one for six. Uh, but, but they finished seven to 12, you know, uh, on, right. on the third down. And that's, uh, that's big time. Yeah, it, it, and, you know, Sanders, I don't think is still, what would you say, Matt, 85% or something. He, he still has trouble running side to side. He's better north and south. Uh, but, for you know, now you've got a 100-yard rusher back in there that you didn't have. And I guess we probably kind of wondered, would you have him at all this year? So it's good that he's back. Need Rocket, need Rocket doing Rocket things. Twenty touches. I, I, I'm with you, Grant. If he, you got to try to get him twenty touches against Auburn somehow. Uh, I love the fact that they got Armstrong manned up and they threw him a deep ball, uh, and then then they threw him a slant. And and both those both those explosive plays. We had some explosive plays, and both those re- resulted in points. Man, what do you and Phil? What do you think of the of closing practice again this week? I could understand it last week. All those first few plays were new, you know, and they wanted to. But now then, this week, what would you think would be the uh, rationale for shutting the media out completely? Just repeating what they did last week and no other reason, you know? Superstition. They're probably, all, they're probably they're, Grant, they're probably all wearing the same underwear and same socks, too, they were last week. Maybe. I don't think that Michigan guy showed up around here, has he? You know, that you were talking about. Connor Stallions, <laughs> yeah. Right. No, he's yeah, got a man. vacuum cleaner business to attend to. Yeah, I tell you, the skullduggery was always so much fun. Back when practices were completely open, the coaches would look up there in the stadium and they'd see some guy that didn't look right, and they'd come up there and challenge, who are you? And there'd be some kid that had a football coaching class in school or something. And uh, uh, <laughs> we, 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 nobody does that anymore. It's pretty much closed except for you know the few minutes that you get to see. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.